really glad that you're having us here at Helite. And uh, I was just wondering if you could just tell us a little bit more about Helite and how it came to be that your family decided to do this. Right. So, uh, first things first is it's a family business, yeah. uh, but it's also the story of two families. So we have uh, the Granges in France, who initially started the company, and uh, us, the Bonniers in uh, Montreal. Who, you know, we, we came across this technology. We thought it was great, and it's uh, also a family we've we've been very close to uh, business-wise. We we did other types of projects. Uh, feature film is one of those. Actually, we were in the uh, entertainment industry, and um, they came up with this idea. It worked great, and so we thought, why not help them uh, make this better? And so we'll help them not only with uh, the commercialization of the product, but as well with the uh, conceptualization and the design and the manufacturing of it. So. Yes, so here right now we're actually in uh, one of the, the cabins that we use for, um, or the booth that we use for photobiomodulation. So we, d we don't do the treatments here uh, at per se, but it's a great way to, for people to t try the product and uh, make sure that you know, it works as intended and to understand how it works. Uh, and so they can, try the, uh, they can try the devices for themselves here. We do two completely different types of devices, all using the same 630 nanometers wavelength red light. Uh, they use very specific LEDs. There's only one manufacturer that can get that level of precision. This is why we use those. Uh, it's a level of precision that uh, in the recent past was only achievable with lasers. Uh, so obviously it was a, a much more expensive technology. Now we can make it actually affordable with LEDs. Uh, so it's 630 nanometers plus minus 5 nanometers. And the idea with these devices is um, uh, to do what we call photobiomodulation, which is the effect of um, metabolizing of uh, photons by skin cells. Uh, this is going to have many effects. It's, uh, it's, uh, and it acts as an anti-inflammatory. Uh, it's going to help with um, uh, cell and tissue regeneration. And the other device that we do uses the same light, but in a completely different way. Uh, it, it does nothing to do with skin or, or, or cells. It's actually triggering, uh, triggering a, a signal in the brain uh, before going to sleep to tell the brain, hey, now it's time to go to sleep. And this is done through um, intrinsically photosensitive retinal gland cells, which the presence of which we only discovered about 2002. So it's all very fairly recent new things which uh, made it possible for us to actually be the first to do it and, and actually patent uh, that particular device, which is called Elite Sleep, which is a sleep aid device. Right. So. Can, may, I, may I see that device, actually? Yes, absolutely. I'm sorry. Okay. It's okay. Uh, maybe, maybe you can. So this is the aforementioned Helite Sleep device. It's on a, it's a very specific protocol that was uh, established by a, a sleep disorder expert and uh, um, also um, a medical physicist to help us make sure that all the perimeters were fine. And the idea is that it will project this red light at 639 meters for 14 minutes. This is enough to, to signal your brain uh, that it's the, you know, the end of the day. Essentially, it's doing the exact reverse of looking at your cell phone at night, which you shouldn't be doing, and that uh, essentially tells your brain it's the day. This will have an effect over the expression of certain hormones in the brain, mainly cortisol for the day and melatonin at night. This is essentially reversing the bad exposure to blue light or short wavelength light at night. Um, and so it doesn't stay up all night because all sleep experts agree that uh, the optimal conditions to get the best sleep is um, uh, through perfect, it has to be perfect darkness. That being said, it has to turn off, but it can't just turn off like that because otherwise it would, uh, that sudden change in environment would essentially wake you back up. So for 14 minutes it's going to ramp down and it's going to slowly fade out and uh, make sure that uh, now you're, you're good to go for the rest of your night.